control of the game, I thought we had pretty good control, and, and I thought they threw everything at us at the start of the second quarter. I think the game actually turned about 10 minutes before half time. We started to get our hands on the footy and uh, hit a few targets, and then uh, got a bit of momentum going into half time. Uh, you know, at half time, you never, you go nah. the way you're going, but obviously, the sleepy house has been turning, and you know, I knew they were going to come. But I just, look, I said the same to you last week, our pressure around the contest, and they bumped the Will I game. Oh, it was a great game. Yeah, Will I come in for Bergs, I told you guys. Yeah. That, that's just footy, you know, they say the bumps out of footy, but that was just pure. Hip and shoulder, down low, not going to hit him in the head. And it sets the scene, and that guy's got a bit of confidence up, and we've played pretty good footy the last three or four weeks, so. And then the last quarter again, you know, CPL come at us, but I think the way we finish off that game, our ball use today was fantastic, you know. Yeah. You don't need every target, and some of the kicks today, 40, 45 metre passes in weights on the league. And, uh, you know, we just, I, I reckon we got our just deserves today. We deserve oh, no, that. no we question deserve, you know. did. We, uh, we made the comment also about halfway through that second quarter, I think uh, Big Betty Menzies went off with the blood rule. Yeah, you got a blood, uh, yeah. I'll give well, that that seemed there at half time. Good on you, mate. He's a little love, mate. He loved that with Juice's club. Yeah, sure. But that seemed to be almost a turning point just before he went off. Uh, actually, when he went off, you put barks into yeah. the into the ruck and then uh, I think McGuinness started to get on top across half back yeah. and then Menzies came back on was best on ground from that point on but yeah, Jody, Jody got a blood nose so it couldn't do much better but we'd like to release of Jacob Barker in the ruck Jacob, uh, Jody's missed probably five or six games this year and Jacob's played uh, a few games in the centre where he's actually you know been in our best play especially the game when we beat Black Rock Jacob's yeah. been outstanding he's only a kid he's still you know he's a runner he, he doesn't quite understand Senar Ford yet, but he's a super kid and you see the athleticism from him and, uh, you know, when he gets out running, he can run like anyone. So it was a, it was good to get him in there. Juddy's hard to get out of there, as you can understand. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. To take Juddy off the ground, I've basically got to get a chain out there. So, <laughs> but no, I think, you know, we had a lot of guys today play well. There's no doubt about it. Our back line's been fantastic all year. They're, yep. they're tough, they're disciplined and, you know, they keep their head over the footy and then we use it we use it good when we get out the secret is sometimes you gotta throw it on your boot but when we get out we get space then we hit up the next target and on at least size grounds we spoke about last yeah. week break the lines and then puts pressure on their opposition backs just one for me mick yes mate. in the second uh, half time obviously karen patterson makes would have got a bit of a rev up in their coach but your senior players like jason Tone, and brett Figgis, they really stood up in that third quarter on ak he's outstanding he was just brilliant he, he just he just plays his role, you know, he's one of those guys, he doesn't look super quick, doesn't look, you know, but he just gets the footy, and again, Fig's fantastic at realising when we push forward, he doesn't just push forward, you can ask the boys what they just call they get forward to the footy, you know, you don't, you can't guess that you're going to get it and just go forward because you get hurt the other way, and Fig's very unselfish, and Ozzy, you know, the player Ozzy is, and they all did that today, and we made it hard for CBL to rebound and bring it out, I thought. As a coach, it really helps when all the players know their role. And they did know their role today and they played their role and executed it. Yeah, thanks, but that's our, that's our motto. Mm. It's, it's play your role. You know, you can't, you know, we've got some very good players, as a lot of teams have, but you know, guys are coming, you need 22 just mm. playing a part. And we're big on play your role. You know, it's the first thing I said mm. when I went into Ashwood, you know, we're going to get 22 blokes to get in if you play five minutes and that's your job and things like that. And you get rewards, you see it, it's, it's hard to get the three or four best on ground every week. Yeah. But if you get the 15, yeah. and then you, your bottom six yeah. are contributing on and off, or tackling, or whatever it is, you're as good as your bottom six, and I think you say today. We lost Benny Adams, he's a good yeah. player. Well, that's what Benny, we Benny, still got him on our sheet, what happened? Benny just kind of finger in the first two minutes. Oh, that's oh, oh there we go. Hey, he's come off, and I've just sat over there again. I've just gone, you're kidding me. Here we go. This happened last week. Miss Saunders last week, and yeah. Benny lasted two minutes. We probably could have put him back on, but we thought we are going all right. And Punter and the guys through the wing where Benny was playing were going all right, so we thought we'd try and ice him up and hopefully get him right for next week.